the world is going through an awful moment that has never been seen before. People are torn between fear, anxiety, and hope. Ladies and gentlemen, shalom, and welcome to the program. My name is Devine. We are coming live from Nairobi, Kenya, to be precise, in the sanctuary CLJ Maranada. Que vous vous I hope you are doing bien well despite the news of the virus that is terrorizing the whole world. We are honored to welcome today the prophet and visionary of CLJ Maranatha, Prophet Joel Lutuka. Prophet, welcome Prophet Joel and thank you for being here. How are you doing Prophet Joel? Et I hope you're que doing vous well bien in this time of de crise. Oh, la grâce de Dieu a l'air abondante. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Merci Thank you very much. Let us see a situation uh, report of the coronavirus. The coronavirus that started in December 2019 has déjà caused fait right now over 45,000 deaths worldwide. Et plus de over 900,000 infected de cases. Qui sont infectés. Et and it's reported right now pays. in over 206 countries. It has been declared a pandemic as it is no longer an epidemic. Nothing is sure right now. On the speculations here and there of a vaccine. Also remember, in Kenya, we have 101 cases reported already. Now, Christians are in a state of fear because they don't know what to believe. We don't know if it is a divine punishment or it is the end of times. According to the preventive measures put in place by the government, for example, quarantine as it is in France, Il y a aussi la fermeture des frontières Les gens People are working from home, social distancing, and places of worship are closed in order to limit the spread of coronavirus. Prophet Joel, what is your point of view as a man of God concerning what is going on in the world currently? First of all, I want, to, I want to say thank you to God and for this privilege to be here. Uh, I hope I'm good to express myself to this language. I want to say thank you to God for this privilege. First of all, to you, also to Divine. Merci beaucoup, que Dieu bénisse. And I want also to say thank you to Casarema with the prophet's bless. Really, may God bless you by what God is using them to cause this uh, platform to be a way whereby God can speak to many lives and to transfer them to the Word of God. So there is a question that you spoke to me right now, and this question is very delicate. I'm aware that there are many people that are getting in a place whereby family are getting dispatched, death is entering to many people, and many are in sadness of losing their loved one, under this sickness called virus and many are under the fear yeah many at home and today i hear that <laughs> you can only work at home yes right <laughs> and churches are closed yeah beach also kenya here they say no gathering of worship so prophetically the prophet need to arise and the prophet they need to say that which god is speaking to them yes because when times and seasons start appearing, it is now to the prophet to announce the thoughts of God concerning this season and this time. So this meeting that we're having right now, it's not an accident, but it is divinely orchestrated to help lives that are under the captivity of fear and to release a prophetic word right now as God is using me to speak to individuals that are listening to me right now that the word of God shall reach out to them. So I believe I will not just speak by my mind, but we have to go to the Word of God. Yes. And in the Word of God, in Ecclesiast, the book of Ecclesiast, chapter, chapter 1, if you can be with me, chapter 1, verse Ecclesiast, 10 Ecclesiast chapter 1, verse 10. Mm. Is there anything of which one can say, 
Look, en fait, this is something new. It was here already long ago. Longtemps. It was here before our time. The 11th verse says, no one remembers the former autrefois. generations, mm -hmm. and even those here to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. Chapter 3, verset 15. Chapter 3, verset 15, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, là où tu étais. Chapter 3, verset 15. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verset 15, la Bible est 15. Ce qui est d'aujourd'hui a déjà été dans le passé. Ce qui est d'aujourd'hui a déjà été dans le passé. Et ce qui sera dans le passé, dans l'avenir, a été. A été. And Et God Dieu will call the past to account. account. Dieu fait revenir ce qui a disparu. Thank you, Spirit of God. Je dirais prophétiquement, <laughs> if I can speak in French, oui, oui, oui. le coronavirus a déjà été existé. Auparavant, oui. Yeah. It was already in existence, but as a spirit. When its time reached, It stopped operating, it returned to its place for another time that is supposed to be released again to operate. The prophets, if I may call him some, uh, Solomon, he spoke something very delicate by saying that what was is what will be. Yeah. And God called in existence that which was in the past to come again in our present time. It is a prophetic sign to show to us that this virus that people are calling new the nation are calling new the medical people are calling new it is not new but it is new to this generation yeah. but prophetically for a prophet and for the church is for us to know whatever we are calling as coronavirus it's not new it is a spirit that operated before but in our time it has come as the name of coronavirus But we do not know 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, what name did it figure out with than coronavirus? And people called it some name. And when its season to expire came by that time, it went to a certain place. And then for it to be released again to a generation. Sorry for disrupting you, but I'd like to know, does it mean that even in the future there will be outbreaks of epidemics? As long as we are under the wall, we need to fight. That's what the Bible says. We are in a battle place. The wall is under the oppression of the prince of the world, which is Satan. We got to know that clearly as church, as the body of Christ. As long as we are under this son of this world we are under the manifestations of the enemy to torment the children of the light yes. because adam made a mistake he sold the earth to lucifer so therefore satan with his wickedness he has the capacity to cause whatever you want to cause to cause pain but it is for a short time but god has given us power to dominate over the wicked plan of satan that's why i'm driving this today Go to the book of Exodus. Chapter 12. Chapter 12. Chapter 12, verse 12. Let's read what took place. Mm -hmm. uh, nous allons lire la Bible dans Exodus 12, verset 12. Mm -hmm. La Bible, Bible says, dit, mm -hmm. Je parcourrai l'Égypte de cette nuit-là, uh -huh. et je and frapperai tout premier-né dans le pays, hommes et bêtes, et j'exercerai ainsi mes jugements contre tous les dieux d'Égypte. Et... Stop there. I will pass over that night. I will exercise my judgment over all the gods. Over all the gods of Egypt. Now, number one, we need to know why is the judgment. The judgment is not for the people because God loves his people. Yes. The judgment is not for the people of Israel, neither for only Egypt, but the judgment is because of the gods 
that Egypt worshipped in the presence of the seed of God in it. Wow. There is the seed of Abraham. God blessed Abraham and he said, I will bless your descendants, but your descendants will live under captivity in a foreign land. <laughs> in a foreign land. And then I will send deliverance over them that will liberate them from the captivity of their enemies. But I will put them under captivity for 400 years. And the word of God, that was a prophecy. And God was watching over his prophecy because the Bible said God watches over his word in order to fulfill it. So when the prophetic time reached, God had to come to fulfill the word. But watch now how God came to fulfill a prophetic word. <laughs> so in another word, people of God, God used the angels of death. As you know, a revelation you can see. God used the angel of death because when he sent Moses as a deliverer, as a prophet, when he sent Moses, Moses performed miracles. Moses did signs and wonders. Moses spoke the word. Moses even turned a stick to a snake. So just at least he can swallow the snake of Pharaoh. But still Pharaoh did not believe. We are facing a Pharaoh in our today. And that Pharaoh is putting the people of God under captivity because that Pharaoh is worshipping a different God than the God of Israel. And God could see that there is a prophetic time that Israel you have entered and you got to come out of captivity. And I've done miracles. I've healed the sick in the church. I have prophesied and I've done things but people are still not believing in my name. And therefore the only way I can set you free is by killing every firstborn watch these people of god every firstborn in egypt when you speak about egypt god can't you see that the people of israel the seed of abraham are also in egypt yeah. when you are sending the judgments don't you see also the church of god is in the world when you are allowing carnivores to enter, don't you see also the church is in the world? God can see. He can see. But there's something that happened. God spoke to a, 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 a Moses. He said, Moses, this judgment has to cover all Egypt. And I will pass over in the night and every firstborn shall die. And where I can see the blood, I will pass over. I will pass over. And Moses did what? He spoke the word to the people of God. And they did what? They applied the blood. And the Bible said when God came, he passed over when he saw the blood and he entered into the houses of the Egyptians where there was no blood because they denied themselves to believe the God of Moses. But thanks be to God, the seed of Abraham was protected because they listened to a prophet. That's why I say in this season, the church and the world should listen to prophets. Because by a prophet, Israel was set free. By a prophet, also Israel prospered. So this is a season where prophets will arise and to speak that which God has to speak by this season. And that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. But loosen the thoughts of God concerning all this. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. I'm not taking you that. <laughs> Look at the thought of God. God could see that the only way I can set my people free out of Egypt is by death. <laughs> When death can enter, then my people are separated. If I can cause death to enter <laughs> to the side of Pharaoh, then Pharaoh will believe. Not by signs and wonders, not by healing, not by this one, but when death will enter, then my, those people will let you go in freedom. Watch this. When death entered, Israel entered into a season which they call revival. In another word, Satan released the people because God released the angel to kill. And the angel was not released to kill the firstborn of Israel because the blood was in it. So in another word, a prophetic instruction kept and saved the people of Israel. And Israel today, in the New Testament, the Bible talked about Israel, is a church of God. This whatever that is happening to the world is a judgment. And the judgment has come to the world. The world is Egypt. 
the church has been under certain oppressions of the government of the nations of the world whereby they were not believing in our god watch the way they treat churches all over the world look at france look at europe good look at uk look at switzerland look at america at least america they can but look at how today people listen more to the government than the church and what is coming from the word of god yes so god saw from heaven and he said the only way i can prove to the world that i'm still god is by allowing death so that people can look unto me again and cry unto me god almighty after the death revival entered israel until even pharaoh call on the god of moses moses please pray for me so that i may be healed moses pray for me so that my family can be well in another word even the people who did not believe in the god of moses they believed because of death today this coronavirus started in china and china is in a place whereby they worship idol watch this this is the bible they worship idols and the judgment began in china and look at this if there is a nation that has been prosperous <laughs> it has been china yes <laughs> seriously and by then egypt was so prosperous in a way whereby it was so prosperous until it put in captivity the seed of abraham prosperity was so much and i remember I taught one day in maranatha here about tear and and sidon whereby they were so prosperous until all the nations of the world they were doing business through Tyr and Sidon and every nation was coming to borrow from them until God brought judgment over those city and those city ceased to be today the Bible say and they located Tyr and Sidon under circles of the sea on the water today China I'm not blaming or condemning China but China was the nation whereby idol was more worship than Jesus Christ <laughs> and judgment began from China as judgment began from Egypt and today I saw that all China it's like people call for prayer and fasting in China to look unto the true God aren't you see the hand of God in this me I can see the hand of God that the people who worship I don't know they are looking at the God who is the heaven creator and the earth creator and they are kneeling down and fasting for three days to seek the face of God But when Egypt released them, they saw Moses as the true God. They saw Moses as the true God. And revival followed them. Let me announce to you. Whatever that is taking place right now, this whatever coronavirus started this year, they said it started in December, but it started hitting strongly this year. Yeah. And it manifested so strongly between the month of February and March. Ay. Isn't it? Ay. And now we are entering into a time of Passover, April. Prophetically, you can see what happened to Egypt. It's happening to this time. So the death has manifested in the month of February, is has manifested in the month of March. Now I can see it getting to cease almost to the month of March finishing to April. The moment we are hitting Passover like this, this whatever we are calling coronavirus, it is spirits. The blood of Jesus is going to come over. <laughs> and it's going to terminate anything that is called as coronavirus. Mark my word and watch this come to pass. But in this season, it is not a season for the church of God to remain quiet. It is a season, actually, the church of God to use it as a point to pray and to seek the face of God and to fast and to build our faith in the word of God because there is a revival that is coming after this one because the world can see that no medical can terminate this coronavirus. They could see now this is it is needs of the hand of God. That's why I say prophets need to arise by this time. It is a spirit which can be addressed. It is a spirit that came in the time of Egypt and Israel when he was in Egypt. And Moses prophesied over it to go. In the same way also, this season, children of God, servant of God, need to stand as prophets to prophesy over these winds.
to cease which i can see it coming to an end very very soon thank god thank god thank god thank god Thank you, Prophet. You have answered several questions at once because there were Christians who lived in fear and who said, if this disease has caught my neighbor, then I will be next. Christian or not, people are afraid of death. And this situation has made them begin to seek the face of God. <laughs> Et à cause de they ça, wonder uh, how to protect themselves la face de Dieu. but you have answered their concerns I would like to know man of God si, uh, there are preventive measures that the government has given it is necessary to sanitize, remain at home, social distance, wear a mask, and there are Christians who boycott this standard. And question why they should follow this standard and they have faith in God. What would you say about that? Merci beaucoup. I will say something. Faith in God is very important. But it's important to understand the realms of faith. If today the government can put ways out there on how somebody can cover himself, and if you see a Christian or beats me as a pastor or a servant of God or a prophet, I put whatever or I'm using sanitizer. It does not mean that I do not have faith. I do actually have faith. Those whatever that we are using to cover ourselves and all that, even Moses used something physically. The blood you can see. So that it can pass over. What Exactement. about you? What is wrong if you also you use this physically so the things can pass over? There's nothing Exactement. wrong. It's faith. So there is a difference between fear and having faith in God. I am putting this in faith. I'm not fearing. And I know I am under divine protections of the blood of Jesus because I know whatever that has come has not come for me. It has come to judge the gods of this world. Yeah. It is a spirit. A spirit can only be dealt by another spirit. Understand it. These things that you are saying, Quran, it is a spirit. Wicked men sat together to create it the wickedness of Satan that was in them but the spirit and this spirit can only be dealt by a spirit because this spirit came from water and the Bible say we are in this world but we are not of this world so in another word we are in this world but whatever that is in this world are not meant to touch us and the Bible says, whatsoever is from above, is above all. We are in this world, but we are sitting in a higher perspective level. Our body can be in this body, but our spirit is higher than this force. <laughs> Listen, this spirit has the eye to see. This whatever you are calling coronavirus. Has an eye to see. And he can see those who are of God and he can see those who are not of God. And if you can see, even the science and the medical people are saying, this whatever can, is killing most the people who are old. To show you, it's after the, old, after the firstborns. It's after the firstborns. Mm. But he said, children are not touched. Yeah. Il est plus jeune aussi. And the plus jeune is, mm. well, it's not touching them. It can show you the Bible is real. But you can see if people can be spared by that time, what is it that Moses used to spare people by that time? 
from the spirit of death was the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, "Ye overcame him by the power of your words, and by the power of the blood of the Lamb." So there is only two ways that you can overcome death and Satan: is by your testimonies and by the blood of Jesus. We are not born of the flesh, but we are born of the Spirit. And whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. So we are seeing this in a different eye prophetically and to say to the devil you shall not touch any of my loved one because this is a secure family this is a secure life my loved one are under the blood of jesus and they are not exposed under the attack of the enemy you got to testify and you got to apply the blood of jesus for you to witness a divine protections in your life and your loved one I hope I've answered that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet. Our viewers have had. So don't boycott what the government has advised to prevent the spread of the virus. And finally, Prophet, what should we expect after this pandemic? Revival. Wow. <laughs> Reveil. Revival. I just said it after death pharaoh did what release the people oui. there is a season where the world i prophesy the world is going to face crisis oui. and this is the church to provide food to the world it's a prophetic time healing has to take place in the church deliverance has to take place There are churches that are closed yes. in France, Europe, America, Presque even here. Everybody is scared. scared. Even here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What is it that God is doing? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Can this be biblical? Watch this. Moses spoke. You can see even whatever the government is doing, God is behind it. The way the government is saying, be at home, close this, God is behind it. Watch this clearly. Watch your Bible clearly and read it. The Bible says, when the angel of death will pass by, God gave an instruction to Moses. He said, remain at home. I don't know. Is it in the Bible, isn't it? He said, remain at home. Nobody to come out. Because the angel will pass by at night. And that's what the government is doing. No church. Everybody stay at home. So that means surely there is a force passing over. God has to do something in this season. We are prayed. God, we desire to see manifestation. Signs and wonders, we desire to see your hands. Where is the revival that our forefather spoke? Where is the revival that so and so spoke that will come? The revival now is coming. But it seems like the church is not ready. The church now is fearing. <laughs> So that means we are not understanding the prophetic season that we are. God actually has opened something so that we may enter, oh God Almighty, so that we may enter and to see what God has for this time. It is a time the church will arise. Because by this season, God is going to lift many. God is going to do amazing things. Wow. Imagine if somebody in the church right now, as a man of God, to arise, and healing everyone in the coronavirus he has the anointing just to heal this one coronavirus do you know that person will travel all over the world as much they stop the nation no one to enter that man will enter the nations why he has something of god in him the power of god so there is somebody that god needs to use to speak in this time as daniel who is that who is that churches are closing men of god are crying how will I pay the rent of my place? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's okay. But people are in pain. And I hear some nation, thank God, they said they will not pay rent in their houses. But wow. to Asia and Africa is different. <laughs> <laughs> Asia, they have no stop paying rent. We have to continue paying. Oui, oui, oui. For those who are paying rent, it's painful. But you can see God is behind all this 
Satan is not in control. God is in it. And we need to lead prayer. We need to use prayer and fasting. In this season, where people are at home, as a man of God, the pastor, you're not supposed to watch TV. You're not supposed to be 24 hours on Facebook, waiting for the things to go. No. And checking on CNN, and checking on Canal Plus, uh, TV 5, or France 24. It is a time to soak yourself in prayer and gain and download divine prophetic knowledge of God that he has for this time. God to empower you. Don't be distracted. Don't be a cowboy. Don't be shaking. Don't fear these things. Understand the season. God is expecting you to pray. Your members are looking out to you. If you start showing signs of fear, imagine how many people are affecting you, are affecting by your fear. But God is calling you to come out of that fear. Speak the word of God. I see a Joshua. I see a Moses somewhere. I see an Elijah somewhere locking yourself in the room, crying to God, what will I do for my family as a man of God? What will I do in this nation you sent to me? Now I'm not working. How, where will I get bread? Listen, this is a time God has to see faith bath inside of you, not fear. Because fear will call death, but faith will call God to step into the scene to manifest his glory in your life. Don't fear. I come to tell you, don't fear. No fear. God is in control. It's a good message. And what word of encouragement and upliftment do you have for the people in general and for the people who have lost their loved ones or have been affected directly by the virus? I will say sorry. The only thing I can do right now is maybe to pray for those who are still alive for a divine security and a divine protection. I was telling my wife, I said, wow, now I can see what the Bible says. The dead are more happier than they, those who are living in the earth. <laughs> How, How come? Because you are all locked up in a house. There is fear all over the world. You can't do business. People do not know what will take place tomorrow. Only those who have God, they have that assurance. Now you start at a mere admiring. Let's keep our salvation in the Lord. This is not a time to break your salvation by saying, God, you kill so and so. No. If they're still alive, there is a way to rescue them. If they're still alive, there is a way to rescue them. Call us. I'll pray for you. Call me. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. And there shall be peace in your life. And the evil shall not overcome you again. For God is with us. God is for us, who can be against us? <laughs> Thank you very much, Prophet Joel. It was not only an amazing interview, but it was also full of revelation. I've learned a lot, and I was among the people who were afraid. Oh, so where is that? <laughs> but I thank God for having this message that has been delivered to his people. Finally, how can people from abroad get in touch with the ministry? How can they connect with you? J'espère pour la grâce de Dieu, il y aura des des numéros qui seront figurés là-bas. Vous pouvez appeler. Euh, je serai là et nous serons là disponibles à recevoir vos appels. Et par la grâce de Dieu, Dieu nous fera grâce. Oui. Et s'il y a des cas, même pas des cas de coronavirus, <rire> des cas d'autres cas, familiales, oui, d'autres problèmes, oui. d'autres problèmes. Oui. nous sommes là pour ça et Dieu m'a envoyé pour cela. Amen. Donc toute situation oui. se soumettra à la puissance du nom de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Dieu m'a accordé la force, Dieu m'a accordé le pouvoir et Dieu m'a accordé la force. To deal with some situations that are rooming around in the world and i pray by the grace of god that your life will never be the same again but god shall visit everyone and touch everyone in the name of jesus so don't hesitate to call us contact us text us 
and you shall receive us. Thank you. What of those in Nairobi, how can they find their way to the sanctuary? Uh, we are in, in Likoni Road, in Nairobi capital, in Likoni Road, that's mean in Mombasa Road. Likoni Road, you can see Likoni Road once you are in Mombasa Road. On Road A, on Road A, on Road A on road a so when you reach in road a you see and or you can ask people clj maranata ministry and from there we are all known in this area they will direct you on the place where we are do you have, have a facebook page yes, or an yes, instagram yes, account uh, i have a page that is prophet joel prophet joel lutuka that means l-u-t-u-k-a joel lutuka prophet joel lutuka clj maranata a, Twitter, I think so, so it's the same. Uh, also Joel Lutuka. Là, c'est personnel, je ne suis pas trop là. Mais vous pouvez me trouver là. Que Dieu bénisse. Merci. Thank you very much, Prophet Joel. It has been a pleasure to have you on this platform. Thank you, viewers. It is a pleasure to know many of you tuned in. Now, let us welcome the Prophet to pray for us. Thank you. Let me pray for you. Just wherever you are, I believe, just trust in the Lord that God shall reach out to you that the power of the Spirit of God shall enable you to be touched again. Heavenly Father, I stretch my hands towards every viewers that are watching me right now. Master, they were under captivity of fear. They were under captivity of doubt. Oh God Almighty, you who save Israel and the captivity of fear of death and the captivity of fear of tomorrow what will happen to them God of Moses come true for my brother come true for my sister come true for my mother and my father watching me right now touch their life I command that fear to come out I command the death to come out of your house I rebuke that spirit of death in the name of Jesus. And I apply the blood of Jesus over everyone watching us. I declare you heavenly covered. From the crown of our head to the source of your feet. Be protected. Be secured. In the blood of Jesus. I declare you safe in the blood of Christ. And I declare you heavenly guarded in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. And I declare you safe in the mighty hand of God. And I declare, if God is for us, nothing can stand against us. And no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. And no arrows that are targeting you by day or midday, no diseases shall come near you. For you are heavenly secured and protected. Let the prophetic grace to cover you and guard you now. And I soak you in the blood of Jesus. And I declare you untouchable. Live in peace. And let the peace of God enter your house. In Jesus' precious name, so shall it be. Amen. If you have never believed Jesus, I pray that you may believe Jesus now. That Jesus will enter your hearts. That you may receive him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.